What's up? It's me again, and today we are going to be recreating Marinette Sother in The Sims 4. So, yeah. Um, also, this is like the Easter egg hunt video for my giveaway. So, if you find any Easter eggs in this video, comment down below for a chance to win Robux. Let's get into the video. So, right now we're just picking out the hair, and um, I was unsure if I wanted to do like a natural hair color or a dyed hair color because, you know, Marinette, she has a dyed hair color, so maybe like her daughter wanted a dyed hair color too, so I don't know. Um, I didn't know, um, but um, I decided um, after a while that I should go with a dyed hair color, and um, I chose this hair color because it was really nice, and we're obviously going to get... We're gonna give her green eyes because, like, um, Randall's daughter is obviously Adrian's no, no, Adrian's daughter, daughter's dad is Adrian. She's not Adrian's father. Um, I'm pretty sure not. Um, that would just be really weird. Like, um, that would mean Gabriel is like their daughter, even though Gabriel's like a man. I'm pretty sure. And then, um. Gabriel is also Adrian's dad, which is, yeah, okay, let's not get into it, but anyway, we're right now just gonna go choose her outfit, um, by the way, the neck, the necklace is kind of like a miraculous, because you know, she might get a miraculous, so that's, we're just gonna pretend like that's a miraculous, okay, I don't care how an actual miraculous looks like, we're just gonna pretend like that's a miraculous, so, um, her favorite color is going to probably be pink, kind of like the opposite of Marinette's, because Marinette's favorite color is blue, so she, this girl's going to, like, pink. Yeah. And obviously she's going to be really stylish, because she's the daughter of a fashion designer and um, a model. And, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if I want to choose a hat. Maybe for another, um, for her formal, maybe. I don't know. I mean formal, not funeral. Guys, someone obviously didn't get their sleep last night, but it's okay. Um, so most of the outfits are probably going to be pink because, like, her favorite color is pink. And I like sticking to The Sims' favorite colors when making outfits because, obviously, um, when you like a certain color, you would probably buy clothes with that color more. Like, if you like a camo outfit, you would probably buy more camo outfits. And I really want to change her hairstyle, but I can't because, like, it's custom content hair and it's kind of, like, different shades. Like, up at the top, like, the roots and the tips, it's, like, darker, but then the rest of the hair is kind of lighter. And, like, I, I don't think any of the Sims hairs, like, the ones that, like, Sims 4 makes are like that. I mean, if you're thinking that I could have, like, just changed her hair to a pink and it wouldn't be such a big difference, like, it was, like, it would be a little darker or a little lighter. No, it was, like, a hot pink and, like, the hair that, like, this girl, Marinette Sauter has is, like, a really light pinkish, I don't know, um, like a salmon. Yeah, yeah. And, um, at this point, I realized I forgot to put her makeup for formal and, um, sporty, so that's what I'm doing right now. So, if you guys are like, this girl looks nothing like Marinette, first of all, it's Adrian's kid too, so there has to be a little difference. She can't look exactly like Marinette. Second of all, the eye color kind of changes her look and makes her look, like, not thing like, like, less like Marinette and more like somebody else's daughter. But, like, her face shape and her body shape and her nose, stuff like that does look a lot like Marinette. So, yeah. So, at first, I was going for, like, a simpler look, like a lot of her other outfits that I made. But then I was like, okay, maybe I should go wear a dress because um, I've been doing simple for um, a lot of her outfits. So, um, I chose this dress. It's pretty cute. And um, right now, we're on her swim suit. Um... And um, I added my necklace to her party outfit, and um, we're just picking her swimsuit. And then I realized I forgot the makeup again, so now I have to go back and do the makeup for the party and the swimsuit. So that's fun. I mean, yeah. Um, for the swim, obviously we're not going to add too much makeup because if you go swimming with your makeup, then your makeup will come off obviously unless if it's like waterproof like i don't waterproof mascara i don't know anything else guys i do not know anything about makeup but um right now we're going for her um summer look kind of, well not summer look but when it's like hot outside so a hot weather look and now we're going for a cold weather look something you would probably wear in the winter fall um usually in the winter and um, we're just going to go for a hat because I don't think we have, I don't think we did a hat besides for the hot look. Yeah, we didn't. Only for this look. But now we're going to 
choose her aspirations and traits. So for her aspiration, I chose that she wanted to make a lot of friends because I mean she was or she would probably be famous because obviously her dad is um, a model and her mom is probably gonna be a famous fashion designer. And um, for her traits, I chose creativity and self-absorbent. Creativity obviously because her mom is a fashion designer and um, self-absorbent because she is in the spotlight a lot like since she was born. So yeah. And now we're just gonna go and make her outfit and like reimagine her as like a superhero. So um. I kind of looked if there, like, there was any other things I could add, like maybe a bracelet, maybe some gloves, like anything else to make the outfit like, you know, different, but there wasn't. So this is the final look. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and comment down below how many Easter eggs you found. And if you get it right, then you have, you, you win Robux. Well, actually, if more people get it right, then um, I have to decide how to do that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.